Hello you 12 and welcome to our second video here for our second topic. What we're going to be looking at is formulas and equations and we're going to be substituting into a formula to evaluate it. Uh, this is a really common skill in standard mathematics, uh, as common a skill as any there are. And typically what we're going to do is not to evaluate the subject of this formula, uh, but one of the other variables. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Now if we read through this example here, we've got a very simple formula that you'll be familiar with for calculating the mean of three numbers. So we might start, well, by... We're going to rewrite the formula here. Right. Uh, I've not always been in favour of doing this, uh, but I've just picked it up lately. So m equals x plus y plus z over 3. Now, I know what some of these things, uh, what the value of some of these variables is. So... Uh, m is equal to 22. So I can replace the m with 22. Uh, two of my numbers are 25 and 26. So I can say x, for example, is 25. y is 26. Plus that unknown z of 3. Now you can see here we have an equation to solve, just like we are doing in the previous exercise. I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. And that means my left-hand side is going to be equal to 66. And my right-hand side is going to be equal to 51 plus z. Now rearranging this, I get z equals, subtract 51 from both sides, and I get 15. There we go. So that is substituting into a formula. There's a chance in an assessment that if you write the formula down and don't get any further, or don't get any further in a correct way, that you might get a mark. So, you know, write the formula down. Always, always show your substitutions. So this line here, what I've got is the second line there. I would consider to be one of the most important lines of working in these questions because there is almost always marks to be given for correctly substituting into a formula. Okay, and from there we solve an equation using those techniques we've been practicing, making sure that we perform the same change to the left and the right hand sides. Okay, that's it for formulas and equations. If you've got any questions, please jot them down, ask your teacher, I'll see you around.